What's up, my beard army? I'm back, and uh, let's face it, no matter how much you try and escape it, Christmas is here. All the shops are playing Christmas songs, TV's full of those cheesy daytime Christmas movies. Actually, I watched one starring Steve Gutenberg last night. Wasn't half bad. But it's not all bad, it's also this time of year that fast food menus start to land. Yeah. And so many people have asked me to do different stuff this Christmas that I thought it might be kind of cool to, uh, to do like a, a mini series throughout December of uh, Christmas themed eating challenges and stuff. Uh, and I figured I would call it... Have yourself a hairy little Christmas. Which I thought was kind of a catchy name. Anyway, just a few days ago, the McDonald's festive menu landed, so it seems only logical that I make that my first video. Tis the season, I guess. We're getting started early with the uh, the Christmas series this year. Uh, we're starting with the McDonald's Christmas menu, uh, which is pretty much the best of all the UK fast food festive menus on offer this year. But it's still not that extensive. There's only like six items on there, so I got uh, more than one of everything, obviously. Uh, we got we got the Biff Biff. What the heck is Biff Biff? Can I get you a Biff burger? We got the beef and cheese. Why does it sound so weird when I say beef? We got the beef and cheese Christmas feast, the Christmas chicken winter warmer, uh, the spiced cookie latte, toffee nut latte, four Terry's chocolate orange McFlurries, and five, I think five bags. Yeah, five bags of festive mozzarella dippers. I'm gonna give myself 45 minutes to do this, just to make it entertaining. So without further ado, this is Beer Mix Food and this, is the most wonderful time of the year. Who's good? All right, I got some uh, extra fluid at the ready in case I need it. All right, we are underway. Let's start with the beef and cheese feast. Not really sure what makes that Christmassy. They call this a uh, snowflake bun. I suppose it kind of looks like a snowflake. What's happening, Beard Army? And I know what you're thinking, it's only the last week in November. Why on earth have you started a Christmas series already? Well, the simple answer to that is there's plenty of festive food to be eaten. And you know me, I'm no slacker. So yeah, I thought I would start with the, uh, the McDonald's festive menu uh, for 2017. And this is a pretty good menu. How's my beard looking? I think it's alright so far. <sighs> Give you a little closer for this burger. Yeah, I'll be honest, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of McDonald's apart from their breakfast. Uh, but this is a really cool menu. I'm not really sure what's that Christmassy about beef and cheese. But. It's pretty good, the, the flavors were kind of spicy, the cheese was a little peppery, the, the chicken, the, the, the sauce in there is kind of uh, seasoned with Christmassy spices. Pretty good. Ooh. I like the flavor of this thing, the, the flavors are really, really nice. But the bun tastes a little stale. It's really pretty crusty. Man, this is dry. I'm using a lot of water to get this down. There's definitely a lot of mayonnaise in my beard now, so. Mm. 
Yeah, just had the uh, towels on hand off to the right. Well, the left as you look at it, but um, I kind of figured this one would get a little messy. There's there's a lot of mayonnaise and sauce in these burgers. Cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> man, man, they were dry. Almost went through that full cup of water. <sighs> right, okay, next we're on to the uh, Christmas chicken winter warmer. This is a nice looking burger, look at that. That almost looks like the pictures you get. Ain't that the truth? This is the, I think probably the only McDonald's burger I've ever picked up that looks anything like the pictures you see on advertisements, TV commercials and stuff like that. Uh, but this this was a really tasty burger, a little tangy, uh, but very, very good. Some water in the eye. Yeah, you got a little splash back there. These things are a little bit spicy. Fortunately, these ones are a little bit smaller than the, what are they called? Beef and, beef and cheese feast. Those things are nearly 900 calories each, which is almost the same as a burger from Five Guys. In terms of calorie content, obviously not quality. Nothing's as good as Five Guys. Next, I'm onto the toffee nut latte. It's <clears throat> a cute little cup. I'm out of practice. Ooh. Anywho, uh, I'm not going to talk through the rest of the video. Uh, I'll let you enjoy it in peace. I know it's kind of a long one, so thank you for joining me for this. Uh, and as always, I'll catch you at the end of the video. Those burgers are big. <coughs> oh, pardon me. The toffee nut latte is really nice. Now, it's just in case anyone out there wants to accuse me of uh, <laughs> spitting the food back out into these cups. <clears throat> A lot of people get triggered when I don't um, don't use clear cups like this, but these are nice little cups, man. I want to show you guys the, the nice artwork on the front. These, I've never tried this one before. Actually, I don't think I've tried either of them, but this one sounds really good. Cook spiced cookie latte. I'm not gonna lie, it's got a bit of a skin on top, but 
kind of let all this stuff go cold. But that is really nice. Hopefully, that should be the last time I need to clean up. <laughs> right, time wheel. I should have plenty of time. Okay, next we've got these uh, cheese melt dippers. These are actually not half bad. They do call these um, dippers, so I suppose I should use some of this festive tomato dip. Ugh, man. I think that's why they don't have any like cheese eating contests. Man. It repeats on me like crazy. No. The spice cookie latte is gone. Luckily, I came prepared. Mm. That's what I got. <sighs> they were really cheesy. At the start they were nice, but the five packets of them just ends up tasting like feet. Round two, Oops. a little bit spillage there. I'm trying to show this to the camera, it's not really working, but um, this is a Terry's Chocolate Orange McFlurry. Terry's Chocolate Orange is, is like more Christmas than Christmas pudding. I always used to get Terry's chocolate oranges. Well, at least one Terry's chocolate orange from my grandma for Christmas. Come on, let's be clean, Adam. Let's be clean. These have kind of melted now to the point that it's almost a milkshake. A nice milkshake though. A nice chocolatey orange milkshake. I might start doing some chug videos. It's much easier to just drink stuff. <laughs> oh god. First McFlurry's done. Just three more. How much time we got left? 15 minutes. Beard is probably a real mess. Oh, the smell of that um, 
festive tomato sauce from the chicken thing. It's got a big whiff of it. Oh, it makes me feel a little bit nauseous. Two McFlurries down. There's two to go. I need to undo my belt. Oh. Oh. And maybe my top button too. Oh. I'm kind of calling this like a cheap meal because I've just about managed to lose almost all the weight that I put on doing the 100,000 calorie challenge and that was what was that like six weeks ago probably more it just shows you how much weight <coughs> you can gain doing something like that it's cool though I managed to get rid of it I look for <sighs> exactly thirty eight minutes. That was a lot of um a lot of weight with all the ice cream and a liquid too. Thanks for joining me for this first video in my little mini Christmas series that I'm going to be doing. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know if you've got any ideas. I've had plenty already on social media and stuff like that. Uh, if you're not following me on there, I'll put the details up on the screen. Please say hello. Uh, try to respond to all my messages and comments and tweets and stuff like that. But um, for now, Bit out. That was a pretty good Christmas menu, man. I'm, I'm impressed. That's the first time I've enjoyed a McDonald's, apart from breakfast, in a long time. Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bees. Don't, don't be shy, I'm not gonna 